be ready to go into the dojo. This is another developer I just discovered. Pretty amazing things coming from this developer. The whole concept behind this library is based on principles of karate and martial arts. Wax on, wax off. Yes, Mr. Miyagi time. <laughs> Here we go. There are two, I guess you would call them synth engines in this. You have the kunate synth and then the Let's see, and then you have the Kata synth. Now the Kunite synth is more aggressive and the Kata synth is more orchestral. It's a, a more orchestral approach, but we're gonna start with the Kata, uh, the Kunite synth, the more aggressive. Enjoy having some snapshots that they've given us. So Kata, okay. So this is just a synth cue. We've got synth cues, underscores, cello cues, all of these really cool things to get you started. Let's go. Just got a nice strong hit. Okay, this is a little different. <laughs> yeah, this uh, has two sound engines, two synth engines, one and two. Justin, the the Kunite, the, the Kunite, and the um, the Kata synth, they are two different instruments. So they're two different instruments, and this one being the more aggressive. And you've got two different sound sources, synth engine sources with this. And you can go into the square and you have controls over the different um, parameters. That's really cool. And we've got the synth engine tab that uses uh, LFO, arpeggio, uh, well, LFO envelopes and step sequencers and just all sorts of really interesting things. You can see that uh, when you get to the end of this, it does that pitch swell. So what we can do here is um, just kind of draw the envelope like this. Yeah, you, so you can just draw your own pitch envelopes in there. Yeah, so this is just like a, uh, this would just be like an underscore type of thing or almost like a like a drone that you, that just kind of, just the bottom end of this thing. And the mod wheel just kind of messes around with the filters. And we can just kind of drop that in, that pitch swell. I think that's pretty fun. Yeah, and these are just uh, the way that they name the snapshots, they call them cues. And so they're just like um, they're just like these 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 one shot cues, or you can just kind of let them go. Um, Let's go to another action cue, uh, six. That's what. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can do something here. I've got Unify sitting here. I don't know what I've got plugged into it. Okay, let me see what I've got plugged into this. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. So just got Unify here with just uh... Let's see, I'm going to link this, uh, I'm gonna 
link it to to Dojo. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, here we go. Let's see what, what's going to happen. Let me link these clips together. See, <laughs> just when, yeah, techno flannel, uh, absolutely. Oh yeah, uh, it sounds very cool. Uh, yeah, you you have all of these elements uh, together. Uh, okay, okay, oh, let's do this. Somebody, somebody put that replay command in there. Let's capture that. That, that last two minutes were kind of crazy. And Unify always, uh, Unify never disappoints. Uh, so I'm gonna un uh, unhook all of that and let's go back. Uh, let's let's go. Let's get back to where we where we were, <laughs> as you were. Yeah. So you, it's just a dynamic sound, I guess. It's just like in your in your face. And you can look at the the menu here, and they're like all of these different. Uh, just in the synth category alone, you've got all of these different. Um, Let's go, let's go to, I hear, I see Mortal Kombat here. Um, this is Mortal Kombat. It's just got that, that big smack and then it just. And listen, and with, with all of the engine, with this engine here, that is what is able to modulate all of these sound sources and get them to animate and do all the crazy movements that they're doing. Let's see. You can see this LFO depth is modulating this cutoff. So that's what's giving all of that animation. That's really wild. And the effects, uh, we've got a whole rack of effects. We've got some verb and delay and compression that we can dial in uh, with the preset. You can also drag and drop your, your own samples into this. So if you have your own samples, you can um, do that. Let's go to another um, cue, synth cue. This is Electric Sky. Yeah. Yeah, 
This is a nice underscore bed. Just a lot going on. Good to see you. So glad that you're here. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll get into, um, yeah. And listen to how that just kind of, it just creates a very uh, interesting, aggressive, it's a more of an aggressive atmosphere. But that's what it is. That's what this is geared for. And I'm, I'm glad they give us the other side, which we're going to investigate. So underscore, let's go to meditation, see what happens with this. So I look at these as drones or beds. These are more static. Very cool. Let's go to Ice Blade. sounds like almost like a whale. Um, so we've got um, cellos, cello, chasing cello. Little cello there. So that just kind of reminded me that this is the way. It's got that acoustic and electronic kind of meshed in together. Very cool. Got a whole bunch of cello cues. Let's go to cello action Q1. Oh man. And that pitch, that pitch envelope just, just kind of makes it, uh, uh, yeah, that, that, this pitch, uh, look at what the LFO is doing up here. That's wild. You've got those subtle things happening in that uh, pitch pitch swell, it just giving it that little uneasiness and movement. And I think this, this is what I, I'm just seeing just is so fantastic about this is that you have so much uh, that you can do with, with the sounds using all of the LFO and modulation routings and those envelopes that you can just draw in. It can just take something and just just totally change it into something different. 
change it into something else. Um, let's go to pluck cues because we've still got the um, the kata synth swag swag strumming. Let's see. Okay, got some electric guitar there. Okay, there we go. Wow. <laughs> let's, uh, okay. Let's go to Leon. And of course, let's see. Let's make sure that these are. Yeah, tempo sync. So I was at 90 and I just went to 150. Let's go back to 90. Let's go to 95. Like a muted guitar. Lot of stuff and you can just see when I drop down these menus there's so many different things going on um, let's go to dimension bending this is in the ARP category And these are things, this is glitch art. Okay, yeah, it's, it's kind of cyberpunky and a little futuristic. And let's look at what's going on with the different LFOs. And that LFO cutoff is absolutely going nuts with this modulation here. Yeah, it's just like that, that glitchy sound. Very cool. Okay, let's go to the other synth. This is really neat that you get two different um, you get two different types. You know, you get this real aggressive engine, uh, this real aggressive synth, and then we can go into the kata synth, and it takes it into a totally different world. Um, and let's just go to the cello ensemble. This is focusing more on orchestral strings, woodwinds. And I think we've even got some, uh, maybe some horns in here as well. So this is the cello ensemble, cello two ensemble. We've got two sound generating sources here. Um, no, yes, yeah. Two layers for each instrument. We can blend with LFOs and envelopes.
busyness of it, the, and listen to that. It's just going, going, going. And this is just the first uh, preset we're exploring. Okay, so um, cello two ensemble. go and drag Bass, uh, oh, oh, well, solo, de uh, cello destruction. No cellos were harmed in the making of this library. Let's see. I'm going to turn. Oh, well. side of this. Um, very cool. Let's keep going. Let's go to garden. That's unusual. And the uh, it's like an XY pad. Ooh, okay, I can do it this way. So I can go CC18 is my X coordinate and, and CC19. And now I can go up here to my joystick and move that, uh, move that around. You see the square? It 
it's altering the cutoffs for layer one on the um, X, layer two cutoff on the Y. Cool. Let's go to eth Ethereal Ensemble. And... Okay, so I have to... Really cool. Let's go to keys. Um, We've got, um, let's see, Silent Day. Let's just check that out. Like an electronic. Let's see. To uh, Iron Piano. Um, digital bamboo. Let's check that out. I'm going to turn the effects down a little bit. It's almost chime like. Interesting. It's interesting. You hear different. Um... Listen. Like wind chimes. And then you hold on to it, and something else is coming. Let's go to, we got pads and textures, um, land patrol. I'm just kind of. They're very complex sounding waveforms. Just a lot of stuff going on with them. 
Let's go to Alabastro. I like having the aggressive and this, the, the more kinder, gentler. Dear Akiba. The sounds paint pictures in your mind. Listen to that. Okay, listen, listen, listen. It's, it's, it's just circling and and I love the approach that he's taken with giving us all of the modulation routings and possibilities. Pads. Let's do one more pads and textures. Um, oh, wow. Memento. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on in there. Hmm. Ah, uh, let's see. Hattori Hans? Oh, this is... Harmonic content. <laughs> and some of the names here are just crazy. Let's go to Ancient Story in the Plucked. Oh, man. this over here and bring that level, that layer one. Okay, David, no, Justin, I mean, sorry. <laughs> let's see if we can do that. Uh, let's just see if we could do that. Okay, so this is, um, Solstice, and let's see, um, the nursery. Let me see if I can, I think I've got it muted here. Okay, let me, let me make sure. Okay, so this is the, um, don't show bubbles. I'm not sure how I can transpose this. Oh, there we go. I'm going to transpose it down an octave. Let's let's go up down a little bit more. No, let's go. Now let's. 
let's see. Let's go and put uh, Dojo back in here. I'm going to just link my MIDI tracks together. Thank you. There we go. The thing I noticed about um, about Dojo is the key range here. So we've got here and here. This is the range that we have to play. Transpose it up another another octave here, just to give it give it that. Uh... Dojo has just this rich vibe, and you put that, you put that clear, those clear bells on the top. And then I love guitars and plucked instruments. Uh, that's uh, that is what um, that is what Dojo is bringing to the table here. Now let me go ahead and um, get rid of uh, Solstice for now. But Solstice is a fabulous, uh, fabulous Albion for sure. One of the best. And that's just the first plucked uh, instrument that I pulled up. <laughs> um, oh well, so we've got uh, mandolin. Got a little mandolin fragments. There's just so much to explore here. Let's just take a look at um, pluck sequences. And see, here we go. It, it's this is this is the character of it. You know, it's just taken. Now we're back to a little bit of that that gritty.
and the ut utilization of effects again and the modulation is just spectacular. Let's go to another one of these ancient strumming. I wish I had, I wish I had some keys up here. I wish there was a way I could stretch that. is a way that uh, that we might be able to get in here uh, I'm just not too familiar I'm just not too familiar with contact to know how to how to pull that off but uh, that uh, that gives me a little motivation to learn contact so some of these you can dive in and do some tweaks and that kind of thing I would just love to extend the key range just a little bit that's the only thing I think that I'm that I'm missing with this, um, and I know sometimes that when you get to those extremes of stretching, that the samples kind of can get a little wonky. But you know, sometimes a little wonkiness is okay uh, to have that extra extra range. So magico, uh, magico. <laughs> Solitario. It's crazy stuff. Now we move that that mixer, that morphing. Let's see. And it just kind of breaks it up. Listen to all the things going on. to thank Silence and other sounds for, for letting me into his dojo uh, because it's, it's incredible. 